in this last video for uh, our hand project, we're just going to add a little bit more detail for the hand. Remember, the amount of detail you add is going to be uh, driven by what you're going to use this object for. You know, it's going to determine if, uh, if what we have is not nearly enough or already too much. So there's things we could do. We could add uh, fingernails. We could, uh, you know, do all kinds of more things. The one thing that we're going to add is uh, the effect of the metacarpal bones. And the metacarpal bones are the bones that go out from the wrist to the fingers, kind of the connector bones, which uh, in most people can be sort of seen through the skin as just uh, ridges along the back of the hand. And then, of course, they form the, the knuckles. So, so we're going to add a little bit of geometry just to, to show that. And, uh, you know, it'll show us a couple uh, new techniques and revisit ones that maybe we haven't spent that much time on. So here we go. So like we said, these are going to go from the base up here to the knuckles. And then we have a little extra on the knuckle area. So we're going to do this with our split face tool, which is right uh, here. There we go. And come in, get the little orange uh, dot. Start there to there to there. And we can, uh, we can take these all down the finger or just tie them off. I'm just going to tie them off. So we click there and hit enter. And there's one. And grab the uh, tool again. And Get the next one, and let's get it to snap to the right place. There we go. Enter, and then uh, we'll be kind of symmetrical about this. So we'll bring this one out from the middle and tie it off to the outside. And again, so we can hit the G key and uh, just build this last one and tie it to the outside and enter. Okay, there we go. We've got the geometry in place, but it's, uh, it's at the same height. So we need to uh, raise this up. And uh, I'm going to get rid of the view cube so that... Uh, it's, uh, it's just kind of in our way right now. We might need to see that space. So now we'll switch to vertex mode. And oh, all the vertex uh, points are selected. So we'll click off here. And then just select the ones we need, which are uh, three basically in each uh, finger area. Okay, halfway. We're not adding a metacarpal uh, to the thumb. We could. You can do that on your own if you want. But uh, Okay, there we go. Let's rotate this around. Now we just need to uh, raise this up and give it some height. Realize when we smooth this out, it's going to be reduced. So, uh, you know, we just have to kind of guess at what's going to be reasonable. Let's give it a little bit more. Okay, and uh, click off. Now let's deal with the knuckles here. Now we're going to do this in a little bit different way. We've, uh, we've extruded faces and we've extruded edges. Now we're going to extrude individual vertices. And the difference is when we do that, well, it's, it's kind of <laughs> a little bit less predictable, but it's going to create some more geometry here for us just around the vertex. So uh, let's uh, click Extrude, and you can see what it does. Okay, well, that's a little extreme. Let's uh, move this uh, back down a little bit. Okay, and you can see it kind of uh, made just a number of edges around that. I'm going to tie these two together and uh, our translate tools in the way. Let's just unselect it and then merge these. 
Okay. And now let's extrude the next one. And translate tool. Bring it back uh, down to a little more reasonable. And let's do the other two extrusions while we're here. And one more to go. And let's uh, got to dolly out to get that handle. And there we are. Okay, now we need to merge and uh, translate tools. Uh, just going to be in the way here. So let's uh, go back to select, and there's the vertices, and merge them. And the next one. Okay, so there we are. And uh, let's take a look, a look at what we've got. So uh, we'll dolly out, rotate this to a reasonable angle, and smooth shade. And the uh, actually the structure here is causing a bit of a problem. So let's, uh, let's click off, let's go to object mode. And there, okay. So, uh, so we've got knuckles, we've got metacarpals, we've got fingers, we've got a thumb. You know, could be uh, more detailed, but not bad. So that's where we're going to leave it. And uh, this brings us to the end of this chapter. So we'll uh, save our scene. And uh, that's it. Okay, well, that's the end of this chapter. It's also the end of what we have for this book. In the next book, we're going to uh, pick up with this organic modeling. We're going to uh, build a more detailed character. We're going to uh, rig this with bones so it can be animated. We're going to do a lot more in surfacing, uh, a whole lot of detail that we can do in that and make things look more realistic. And we'll talk about some of the animation techniques that uh, are used in animating characters. So that's it for now. And thank you for being with us, and perhaps we'll see you in the next one.